Hello, New Hope. I trust all is going well with you. I'm praying for health, wealth, and wisdom, strength, and so forth for you. I want to talk to you today about peeling an onion. Have you ever peeled an onion? You know, you have that real thin cellophane layer on the outside, and you peel that away, and there's another layer just beyond that. And you can pull that layer apart and you can peel that layer back and there's yet another full layer under it. And in fact, you can continue doing that till you get all the way down to a little core uh, of the onion. What I've found is the word of God is like peeling an onion. So whether you are a seasoned saint or a newborn in in respect to your Christian walk, there's something in the onion in the scripture for you. So whether you're just peeling back that first layer, or in fact, you're delving deeper into the word and you find one more layer of truth that helps answer your questions, uh, that's what the scripture is all about. It's about a lifetime of learning to love God and love his word and love him through his word. Now, in these trying times, I would struggle in every way of life if I didn't have a good, solid foundation in the scriptures. The scriptures have become for me an anchor for my soul. They've become to me the foundation of who I am as a person. And so I encourage you today to fall in love with the Word of God. Fall in love with what God has for you. Do you face struggles? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Whether we're, again, a seasoned saint or whether we are a new believer, we have struggles and we have questions and we have things that come up and we search for answers. And I'm here to suggest to you in this brief devotional, that somewhere between the two covers of your Bible, whatever is ailing you, whatever is a problem for you, whatever questions you might have, that God has an answer for you. And one of the things that I have found in my lifetime is I have lots of questions and I don't always get the answers right away. I just kind of park the questions at a spot in my mind. And later on, out of the clear blue, as I'm studying a portion of scripture that has nothing to do with the question, here comes the answer right out of left field. And it was there all the time. It was there all along for us. So today, let's ponder uh, one scripture from the book of Romans. And what I would like to suggest to you is that that the Bible is a source for you for all of life's trials and problems. In Romans 15, the Apostle Paul wrote, whether you're a babe in Christ or a seasoned saint, he has written to you. And there's one verse that talks about the word that I'd like to read for you. And then I have a comment or two as we, as we conclude our devotional for today. Romans 15 and verse 4, it says this, For whatsoever things were written before were written for our learning or education, that we through endurance and the comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So whatever was written before in earlier times, well, we use the word, the words Old Testament to describe things that were written uh, before in older times. In fact, the Old Testament was the Bible of Jesus. The Old Testament was the Bible of um, John the Baptist, John the Immerser. The Old Testament was the Bible for all of the disciples and for the Apostle Paul. And it wasn't until later on after the death and resurrection of Jesus and some 20 years plus had passed before we get the writing of the first 
letter or book or gospel that is described as part of the New Testament. Don't fear reading the Old Testament. Don't fear reading the Bible. Just ask God to open his word to you. Get in a place where you're alone with God. And maybe you have a, some real, real quiet worship music in the, in the past and come into his courts with thanksgiving in your heart. And then open the scriptures and ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, guide me today into all truth. You promised you would do that. And show me what you have for me in your word for today. There's truth there for you. Babe in Christ, seasoned saint, there is truth there for you. So with a little God-given uh, perseverance and with the encouragement provided in the scriptures, we might have hope. Even in the midst of a horrible epidemic, even in the, the midst of seeming lawlessness from uh, sea to shining sea, uh, in the midst of of uh, massive fires along the West Coast, hurricanes in the Gulf, and so forth. Even in the midst of all of that, in the midst of all the terrible stress that we have in life, God is still on the throne and he still has an answer for you. I think about an old hymn we used to sing way back in the olden days. And it goes like this, God is still on his throne and he will remember his own. His, though trials may stress us and burdens perplex us, he never will leave us alone. God is still on the throne, and he remembers his own. His promise is true. He will not forget you. God is still on the throne. With that, we say, God bless you. Shalom, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a marvelous day. Get in the word. Dig it out. There's some nuggets there for you. Amen.